Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can serve a HTML website or a single page application using Node.js and Express. So for the example of a single page application, I'm going to be using a React app that I created from the command line using npx create react app. So as you can see, I've already created a project folder containing app.js and at the top of the script, I'm importing Express now into this server. I still need to install Express. So first of all, create a new node project using double flag Y to accept all of the defaults for a new project. And now that's done, I run npm i express to install Express. And if that's installed successfully, then it should be listed as a dependency in package.json. So just give that a second to install. And now you see that Express added as a dependency for our project and Express itself has been installed into this node modules folder that has been created. Now in app.js, the first thing you want to do is to create a new instance of an Express application. So to do that, you call Express and the return value of doing that will be your new Express app. So to start serving a website or a client-side application, what you need to do is to create a new folder inside of your project folder. So this is typically called static or public. Here, I'm going to be calling my folder public. And what we're going to be doing is configuring our app to serve static files from that folder. So this means serving files just as they are to somebody who is requesting them. So to do that, call use on app which allows you to specify some global settings for your app. And inside here, what we're going to be doing is calling express.static, which allows you to specify a directory for serving static files. So in this case, if I enter public, then it's going to start serving files from the public folder statically when I start my app. So let's see this in action now by getting the app up and running locally on a report. So Usually port 3000 is a good port to use. And I'll log something to the console here. App listening on port 3000. Now the public folder, it is still empty. So let's put something inside there. So I'll access the public folder here and I have a basic HTML website here on my desktop. So I'm going to copy these files across and place them in the public folder. So I'll access index.html here, so you know what it looks like. So it's a website template that I downloaded earlier that is multi-page, and as you saw in the folder, it has some resources stored in subfolders that I needed to make the site work. So all of the content of this public folder is going to be made statically available when I start the server. So in my server folder, I run node app. So it's telling me here that my app is now up and running on port 3000, and that's going to be on localhost. So if I access that port now, you see that the website is being served to us by the Express app. Now, although this is working, it's actually better practice to specify the path to the public folder a little differently from how I did it here. So an issue that can come up here is that the public folder is relative to the working directory where I launched the app, not relative to app.js, even though they're usually the same. So you can get into a little trouble with this method. So if I try starting my app one directory up from the server folder, so now I would start my app by running node server forward slash app. So that starts my app. But if I try to access it again, you see that the website cannot be accessed like before. The reason is that our working directory is now the desktop and there is no forward slash public folder on the desktop. So to fix that, we can set the path to the public folder relative to app.js. And then even if we start app.js from a different directory, then it's going to be able to find the public folder relative to app.js. So you can get the fixed path to the directory that contains this app.js file by calling der name. Now you could, if you wanted to, concatenate the values here to create 
the path, but it's actually better practice to rely on a core module for node here or path. So you don't need to do an npm install because this is already included in node. So you want to pass in the parts of the path into its join method as arguments. So the reason this is useful is that when you're concatenating parts of a path like we were before, you can have problems with things like trailing slashes. Using path.join is going to detect those issues and take care of those when you're creating a new path. So now if we try to run this app again, one directory up from app.js, it should be working now. So let's try accessing the site. Now, something you might want to add here is a 404 page, because if I try accessing a page that doesn't exist on the site, I get this message here. You might instead want to serve up a custom 404 message or a 404 page. So to do that, call app.use again. So after Express has tried to serve up a static file, so if no resource that matches an incoming request is found in the public folder, then this app.use is going to run. And inside here, what I'm going to do is to construct a response to the requester. So first I'm going to set a status code for response. So I'm going to set that to 404. And then for the response itself, I'm going to specify some HTML here. So you could be sending a HTML document to the user here using send file and then specifying the path to the HTML document. But just for this example, I'm going to be writing some HTML straight inside of send. So the message will be error 404 resource not found. So now if I save, restart the server and try to access a resource that doesn't exist in the public folder, then we should get the error 404 message that we just wrote, which we do instead of the default cannot get message. Now, as you probably noticed, the website is being served on the root directory where we're running this server. So that is on port 3000 on localhost. So quite often this is what you want. But if you do find yourself wanting to serve your content on a subdirectory of the root, such as forward slash website here, then what you can do is in app.js simply specify a path as a first argument inside app.use so relative to the root i'll specify here forward slash website now when i restart my server and i access localhost 3000 forward slash website the website is now being served there and if i go to the root you see that there's nothing there now so I won't change the path on which the website is being served back to root because I want to keep that free so I can show you now how to serve a React app. So I'm going to copy the syntax that I used to specify a public folder. I'm going to specify another public folder. So I'm going to store my React application in a folder called React app on the server and I want that to be served up when a user makes a request to the root. Now I do already have a React app sitting on my desktop here that I created earlier. So what I'm going to do is to drag and drop that into the server folder. Now I don't need to make any changes to the server side path yet because the folder here is called react-app. And inside app.js, I'm serving up on the root contents of the folder react-app. But the React app folder, it just contains the contents of a new React app that cannot be served statically. So what you need to do to be able to serve it statically is to create a production build of your React app. So to be able to do that, I'm going to first of all CD into the React app folder. So if you use create React app to create the app like I did, then you can run here npm run build. And this is going to create a production version of your app that you can host statically. And it's going to do that by creating a new folder inside of React app. That's going to be called build. And inside the build folder is going to be our React app. Okay, so now that it's there, your React app ready to be served. It's inside the server, inside the React app folder inside the build folder now. So 
you need to add forward slash build to the server side path. Now, if I save this and I restart my server and access the root, hopefully the React app, it's now being served on the root. And if I access the root forward slash website, then you see that the HTML website is still being served from there. Now, when you're serving an app or website like this, there's nothing to stop you adding an API endpoint inside your app. So for example, you could have a get endpoint here that is available at root forward slash API and as a response. So the response isn't important. What's important is just the principle that you can serve an API alongside your static resources. So the response is just going to be a JSON string that says HTTP get request received. So I'll save at JS, restart the server. And now if we go to root slash API, you see we're getting the data back from the API. At the same time, we're still hosting a app and we're still also hosting the website. So that is it for this tutorial on how you can serve a HTML website or a client-side application using Node.js and Express. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps us with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.